Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett, Explain Dedicated. Today we're going to have a look at X Organizer. This came out originally a couple of years ago, and whilst it was good, you often found yourself having to do a lot of extra work to sort things out. The new version, absolutely brilliant, does everything automatically. There is so much in there that the manual runs to 58 pages. We'll see you right after the intro. Before we get into the video proper, just let me talk about X Organizer for a minute. How many of you remember the old version of it? Well, it was very good, but it did things in alphabetical order. So whatever the whatever the scenery, the airport, whatever was named. So, for example, say it was Cardiff International Airport, it would organise things alphabetically. So Cardiff International Airport would come under C. If, for example, somebody had done an airport and it was called EGFF Cardiff International Airport, it would go in E and so get separated out. And this caused huge problems because there was no naming conventions within X-Plane and people would name things whatever they think and... And so, therefore, X Organizer, the previous version of X Organizer, would, would just do things alphabetically, and your scenery, inery, your scenery, any file would get all mixed up, and more often than not, you had to do the extra work to get it sorted out. The new version, however, is way, way better, and it does things by aircraft, by continent, by country, by city, by region, entirely different. We'll have a look now. X Organizer, the new X Organizer is brilliant. You install it to anywhere you want, so any of your hard drivers. It runs outside of X Plane, as you can see here. A simple click on the icon and it starts running, it opens up, and you can do things automatically. What is X Organizer? X Organizer helps you to manage your scenery, your plugins and scripts your X-Plane preferences and your aircraft. And you can see there that I've got it open. And I'm just actually having a look at all the different things under scenery, I believe. It's amazing. In the old version, as I said before, in the old version, it used to organize things alphabetically and it would get itself in a mess. Now what it does, it organizes itself by regions. And the way that it does it, it looks at each file and it looks for key words. So when it's looking for airports, it's either looking for a name or an IKO code. And it'll put it into the scenery in file in alphabetical order. So all the aircraft, all the airports come together, all the aircraft come together. It's absolutely brilliant. It does this by helping you with maintaining the right scenery order. Uh, it has an overview, especially if you've collected a lot of stuff, which uh, a lot of us do. Um, it prevents conflicts between scenery packages and, and, diff and between plugins and scripts. It can even also check to see what is wrong, where there are conflicts. You can see that there's like a, 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 there was a red label and it was telling me that there were some items that needed fixing. Uh, I'm just going through the different folders and looking at the folder structure and the file structure of how X Organizer has organized things. Uh, it's... Um, Setting up x for specific types of flight, you can do that with different scenery and plug scenes, but also different x preferences, for instance, for VR. So if you're a VR pilot, your preferences will be very different from just an ordinary uh, flat screen monitor uh, pilot. So you can set up profiles. I created a profile myself earlier, uh, just a standard one, and it's really simple. It's a couple of clicks of a button. The... Uh, the manual runs to 58 pages. It's huge. Um, and it is written so perfectly. Now, the guy who did this is MH1212, I believe his handle is, on xplane.org. Uh, and he is so... I mean, I don't even know his real name. I, I think I might have known it when the first version came out, but I've forgotten since then. There's so much going on, isn't there? But... He has worked really, really hard on this. And it's all here. It's all in this one interface, so you can't go wrong. Um, it, it reduces X-Plane load times. It increases X-Plane performance by disabling content. Uh, it limits the number of loaded ground traffic plugins. X-Plane can only handle a certain amount of plugins, and this is true. Whenever you get a scenery, yeah, there will be ground traffic plugins for that scenery. And if you have a look in your 
plugins folder. You'll see loads of them. Uh, what this does now, it actually limits them. Um, there's also a toolbox and, it, and it's, it's called X Toolbox, which works in conjunction with X Organizer. And it's a 64-bit application that uses parallel processing to utilize all of your CPU cores uh, for the more demanded tasks that you might have. One of the more difficult tasks in managing your x installation is keeping the right order for your scenery. This is true, we all know this. What X Organizer does, it will keep it in the right order. You can look at aircraft by uh, type and you get a little photo of it at the side there. You can go through all sorts of different lists. The main tabs of X Organizer on the top there are Start x F4, Close, Scenery Off, Plugins Off, Preferences Off, Aircraft Off, Help, Actions and Settings. And as you hit each tab, of course, then it'll become on. The, 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 the depth of this program is absolutely staggering. And to be quite honest, I think you really need to look at the 58 page manual just to check certain things. You've got a, a scenery map here where you can turn on your scenery. You can see me turning it on and off there. Um, just turning it all on. And, and that is all the photo scenery or auto photo scenery that I've got on my map. Some of it is Sim Heaven uh, Europe, others, other bits of it are uh, Orbex. You can see over in America, the Washington State and California, which is my Orbex scenery, which I'm having a look. It's even the Sim Haven Europe stuff even covers uh, the Canary Islands in the uh, Atlantic there, just off the coast of Africa. It's absolutely breathtaking. It's so good. I mean, the, the fact that this has come so far from what it used to be like. And believe me, in the past, I, I thought it was a bit of a mess. And I'm I'm not being too harsh when I say that. It's just, uh, you know, uh, a fact, a natural fact. It's just a, a simple fact that it was a bit of a mess previously. But they've cleaned it up. MH1212 has done a superb job. And it just looks so much better now. I'm really pleased with it all. Um, I'm looking at the scenery any file there because it will write the scenery in any file for you. And you can look at it within X Organizer. You don't even have to go to um, X Plane to have a look at it to see that it's okay. So I just had a look at that and I love the way that it writes it, which is a way that I've always wanted to be able to do it by putting things into sections. But X Organizer does it for you. Absolutely superb. And obviously clicking on Alt uh, F4 at the end when you you know you've had a you've sorted everything out, it will you know start X playing. The other thing I like about this is there are a number of manuals in different formats, but also right at the bottom here, he's produced a number of videos. Um, and it's a direct link to YouTube. You just click on it, here we go, and it goes straight to the X Organizer. Uh, page on xplane.org and there you have all the tutorial videos. Uh, I can't remember the price off the top of my head. I think it's $12. I may be wrong. I'll check that and I'll put it in the video somewhere exactly how much and also with a, a, a direct link in the description below for that also as well. So there you have it. Uh, I don't know what more I can say about this. It is an excellent product. It's been done so well. MH1212, he, he's, he's done something really superb here. And it will even check to make sure that you've got the right version as well. Absolutely superb. There we are, 58 page manual. It's just so detailed with amazing screenshots and screen grabs in high definition. You can read it very, very easily. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, all I can say about this is well done. Done a fantastic job. Um, in my view, if, if you can afford to get this one, then I suggest you get it straight away because it's really going to make things a lot easier. Don't forget, if you can, please smash the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, YouTube and its crazy algorithm really loves that. So please, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, all I can do now is really wish you a happy new year. 2021 is going to be so much better than uh, this this year. And I know that everybody, all of you out there will, you know, you will be trying your very best to stay safe. Um, so stay
wash your hands, make space, stay safe. Um, and, and wear a mask as well. Wear a mask. That's, that is really important. I just, I'm just continuing flicking through the manual here at different things. It's just staggering. It's so well written as well. So top marks to uh, MH1212. I think he's done a wonderful job. All that it remains for me to say is that my name is Wycliffe Barrett. This is x Dedicated. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've disliked the video, well, thumbs down. That's entirely up to you. I've just started x from within X-Organizer. And there you go. Uh, x has started. Another video is going to be coming out after this one. Uh, hopefully I'll get it done today. Uh, we'll see you all soon. You take care now. And cheerio. All the best. Happy New Year.